White Plains Beautification, I told you that one, didn't I? Westchester Putnam Legal Services, yeah, I think we got them all now. There were seven of them. National Association for the Preservation of Social Security and Medicare. Yep. So, let's try to go to sleep. My Christmas cards were nice this year. This is from Lori Galgano. These look like uh, the toy soldiers at Cablevision, 11 Stewart Avenue, and Beth Bethpage. This is a beautiful card from Pastor Robert Wire Weiser and Betty Weiser. This is from Franklin's niece, Sylvia. This is an embossed and elaborate card from Michael and Peggy Daddick in Florida. Pat Brady. Staten Island Public Access TV. <laughs> it's Emily, Alexandra, and Joe and Don. Emily. Alexandra, Joe, and Don, and Don, J.D. This is J.D. This is from Heather and Debbie Bernard. This is from a PhD, a theoretical physicist, State University of New York at Buffalo. Dr. Eric Beth. I know so many physicists. Mel Ehrlich out in Long Island. Um, Jacob Rajinsky, the fighter of injustice in the courts. And one physicist I knew was from Paraguay, Alexis Troche, and he died. I went to school with him, he died. Jay Yeomans is having a concert March the 1st, it's a Saturday at the uh, church in Millbrook. His quartet is playing. And they're playing, going to play Mozart's concerto for clarinet. Oh boy, that would be neat. And he was looking for a name for his quartet. It's uh, a violin, two violins, a viola, and a bass, I think. And Franklin thought of a good name, I thought. The Noteworthy Four. The Noteworthy Four. Did you hear about the four carpenters? They all played the tuba. So they formed themselves a quartet, and they called it the Tuba Fours. You see, folks, you wonder why people, why Wall Street is in such a bad shape. People don't have any confidence they're finally realizing that these CEOs are 
Well, they're pretty low on the scale. For the second time in two years, the nation's biggest brokerages have agreed to shell out $1 billion of their shareholders' capital in to extricate themselves from a major scandal. If this happened to another, in another di industry, it would uh, seem highly likely that shareholders would uh, raise a, and it's not a very good word, let's use protests, wondering what kind of managers were running their companies. But this is Wall Street, where the profits from conduct legal and otherwise have been more than adequate to handle the periodic uh, mean lane. Mean fine. Mega fine. In 1996 and 1997, it cost more than two dozen big brokerages and their self-regulated organizations a total of $1 billion to settle government and investor charges that they had long rigged NASDAQ stock trading for their benefit. Here's Cablevision New York. Forty-eight fifty, four eighty-seven, down to seventeen ten. I remember it was five. I remember when it was seventy-four. Christmas Eve. Current and former members of Enron's board of directors are sworn in before a Senate subcommittee on in investigations last May. This is why Wall Street does not have people's confidence. And I think they should investigate Cablevision. Remember Cablevision refused to show me the books, records, and minutes? 107 times. Merrill Lynch and Company has set the scene months ago for what was to come by agreeing to pay a hundred million dollars fine. That became a basis for the fines that nine of Merrill's rivals have agreed to pay to settle regulators' allegations that they, too, engaged in deceitful practices aimed at keeping fee-generating company clients and executives happy at the average investor's expense. Yeah, sure. It's an old, old story. I've heard it before. Judge Grant's son, Injunction in Microsoft software case. That would be the Baltimore Sun. A newspaper. U.S. District Judge J. Frederick Motts. Montreal, Montreal firm Montreal uh, buys a uh, this HBHS, that's that Hong Kong bank that bought Marine Midland Equipment Finance Unit. And corporate scandals expose markets' vulnerabilities. Yeah. Wall Street's really sick, and what's also sick is these stockbrokers and their rip-off fees. AT&T got out of the cable TV business. A couple of reasons for getting satellite TV is a 10% increase uh, in subscribers fees. Another reason for getting satellite TV is, uh, so you can see the Yankees. Another reason for getting satellite TV is so you can see free speech TV. Free Speech TV is uh, featuring coverage of grassroots movements such as a matter of justice, uh, rallies, and uh, uh, people uh, 
trying to correct the uh, terrible pits uh, that mass media has got us into. And uh, let's see, what is their channel? Their channel number is 9415. And Mobilize is this uh, uh, coverage of uh, grassroots movements. And you can, uh, you can see it's 24 slash 7 on Dish Network, channel 9415. To get a free dish and subscribe to Dish Network, go to www.freespeech.org. If you buy here, some of the proceeds benefit Free Speech TV. So, uh... This is one of their bulletins for the summer of 2002. And doing justice with TV, see the world through our mobile eyes. Primetime programming the best uh, from independent media. Outreach Connecting Activists and Audiences. Now, I notice that in all of the activist activities that they cover, they are not doing anything as to the problem we have of not getting justice in the courts. Serious, serious problem. So let's keep monitoring uh, free speech TV, and let's find out about them five minutes a week, and I'll report it to you. Uh, it's a tax deduction, tax deductible uh, donation to uh, contribute to Free Speech TV media projects. Become a Free Speech TV member and go to http slash slash pledge Free speech, uh, pledge dot free speech dot org. Send a tax deductible contribution payable to Public Communicators Incorporated, Free Speech TV, Post Office Box 6060, Boulder, Colorado 80306. Encourage your family, friends, and colleagues to tune in to Free Speech TV. Again, their number, channel number is 9415. Now we'll try to give you some more information next week. Uh, folks, this is the last payment of MCI bill in Huntington at 1395 New York Avenue. And look at this bill, okay? The total bill is $12.99. The taxes are eight dollars and seventy four cents is there something wrong with this company I mean with this country didn't this country start out as a revolt against taxation are we getting snickered the power was it's gone we've been up all night Franklin just signed eight checks now we go to the post office and that's the end mail of January the 15th plus the end mail of January the 7th. Both the legal papers are done and the details are done. And Franklin's niece, Julie, teaches music in Venezuela. I was hoping that after she came home to Texas after the spring break, that she wouldn't go back. It's a bad place to be, Venezuela, right now. Or any perfect blue sky, not a cloud. Nine o'clock. What that mean dog did to that poor deer. What's going on here? This is the living well. And this is three sets that we're making today and it has taken all day.
Okay, 60 sheets have been printed so far, three sets. Why should it take so long? And this is going to the bank tomorrow uh, to be fun. Well, they're a good automobile. There's, I, I won't say nothing bad about them. They've been a good, it's been a good car, but I just never, I, I, I just never liked the '90s. The '90s series automobile. How do you like the 2000s? Well, they're nice cars, but it's just, it, see, it all goes back to. Uh, it's not an. It, it doesn't even look like any Lincoln anymore. It looks like every other car in the world. That's right. And it's. That's the one thing that made Lincoln what it was. It was individuality about the automobile itself. It looked like a Lincoln. That's it right. It rode like a Lincoln. That's right. And you know, when you look at it, you knew you had a Lincoln. That's right. And that's the one thing about that. Is the Lincoln the only one that went away from struts and shock absorbers and went into an airbag for suspension? No, I don't think so. I, I'm not sure on that, and I wouldn't want to make a statement on it. But I'll... Channel 2, WCBS TV. Direct TV. Way waste money on cable. You hear that, Charles Owen? That was an ad for Direct TV. Only 10 seconds. Baby. Oh, yeah, he looks better. Yeah, he looks... He's been in the hospital since Friday. We're going to do only about double duty tomorrow and Thursday. <coughs> From the cold air will arrive. Dear John, the big chill is making life just miserable for anyone who has to work outside. CBS 2's Tony Aiello is working outside for us right now in White Plains with that story. Tony? Dana, it seems like we've been in the deep freeze forever. In fact, it's been eight days. Eight days ago, the temperature at Westchester Airport last topped 32 degrees. So for a week and a day, we have been below freezing. And that is making life difficult for everyone from construction workers here in White Plains to firefighters in Yonkers. The brutal cold froze three of four fire hybrids on Hart Avenue. In it cost $1,100. Been in the hospital ever since Friday. That folks. All the January seventh in mail is done. All the January fifteenth in mail is done. It would be about oh, I think it was about thirty jobs. And the Living Trust is ready with a conformed copy three, ready to fund it. Here's the bill for the 1993 Lincoln expansion, suspension, $1,100. I don't know. It seems wrong to me, but we are trapped. Hmm. For $1,100, couldn't they have washed it? $1,100, couldn't they have washed it? You know, on Friday the 13th, if I had come out of the parking spot and instead of going frontwards this way, if I had gone backwards this way so I'd been pointed out toward the road, we could have saved $1,100 in 10 hours. And uh, it would have been a whole lot better for the 1993. I think our landlord could do a lot better job on snow and ice removal, don't you? Look at this bright white winter sunshine. This is where Jay lives, our young violinist. He's going to have a concert May 1st, March 1st. Does this ride like a Lincoln now? Yeah.
States of America, State of New York, County of Dutchess, Peconic State Parkway. This is Route 84, Interstate, East to Danbury. What's the next one? Living Trust is funded. Living Trust is funded. Now we'll drive through homes. Want to go through homes, folks? Little tiny town. But a choo choo goes through it all the way into Grand Central. Patterson, New York. I could find went over the choo choo tracks and they were all frozen. I don't think a plane a train comes up here. This is Holmes New York. That just come. Oh, 
Oh, this 